Welcome to another edition of At Home Senior Fitness. I'm your host today, Steve Bartle. Today we're at the beautiful Active Lifestyle Center here in Chatham, a facility designed for people 50 and over. They offer amazing activities for anybody who would like to come out. I, I do a lot of my teaching here, and today they've been gracious enough to, today to let me use the facility. Remember, so nice and tall, engaging that core area, keeping yourself nice and straight, nice and stable. Today, we'll be working with a few dish cloths, a longer one, and two shorter ones for our feet. But well, let's get started. We need a bit of a warm up first, then we'll go into some stretches, and then we'll go into our work with the towels. Okay, here we go, a couple big breaths. In through the nose, up through the mouth. And remember, if you have difficulty with your breathing or your heart, or you have any other troubles, please consult the doctor first before you do any of these exercises. Again, we're up nice and tall, engaging our core area. Let's turn our head to the right. To the left. To the right, just stretching that neck out a bit here. One more. Back to center, drop the chin, looking down. Back up to center. Let's go a little march. Here we go. Good. And remember, there's all there are other videos that are included in this series that may also help you out. Give it a push. Two, three, four, five, six. A in March. Good. Punching it out nice and easy. Good. Nice and easy. Good and March. Good. Relax. Shake it all out. We're gonna, that's a quick little warm up for you. Couple of breaths again. One more. Interlocking those fingers and quick roll, loosening off the wrist here. Back the other direction. Good. Shake it out. Hands up. One's up, one's down. Here we go. Nice and easy. Relaxing those wrists, stretching them out. Good. A little roll. And backwards. Good. Shake it out again. Good. Again, we're up nice and tall. Let's grab our dishcloths. Now we're going to work with the long one first. We're going to work the upper body first, then we're going to go to the lower body. Some interesting work here we're going to do with the dishcloths. I believe everyone should have a dishcloth, longer and shorter ones, in their kitchen. If not, you can always use a towel. Okay, we're up here. Bring it in and push. Push. Three. Four. Five. Six seven and eight. Remember, we're always pulling it. We're always keeping it nice and tight as we push it out, keeping those, those arms the same distance apart. We want to keep it nice and tight on that, on that towel. And the last one, good. Okay, let's push it up. Remember, we're keeping it again. Now, this is a little bit dangerous. You don't want to keep those hands up above the heart too long because it's a lot harder for your heart to pump blood up toward your arm, so be very careful with this one. Five, six, seven, and eight. Push it out, and here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. A little bit higher face now. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight, bring it down. Relax those muscles, relaxing those shoulders, quick roll. It's always hard on the shoulders to keep them up in the air for so long. And forward, just rolling, loosening them up. Nice and easy. Good. And one more, good. Now take that, take that rag up here. We're just gonna take it here and we're gonna pull it. Pull it. Pull, snap, snap. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
bring it up here and bring it down to the knees, straight up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down. Now, let's just take that, that cloth in the right hand, big circles, big circles. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can go at your own pace with this one. Maybe you want to go a little bit slower, a little bit faster, it's up to you. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Let's go now over to the other side. We're up, big circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight the other direction here we go from the shoulder two three four five six seven and eight bring it down good now we're going to place both hands underneath the cloth palms facing up we're going to squeeze it here bring it down near the knees bring it up into curling motion bending at the elbows two three, four, squeeze that muscle at the top, six, seven, eight, good, let's set it down. Taking those hands, now we're bringing the palms face down, this is called the reverse curl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Good. While we're here, we're going to bring the, the cloth out front, bring it down, knee comes up and tap, tap. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Let's push it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Change it up slightly, take it up, around big loop, and up. Two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, one more, eight. Bring it back, good, relax for a second. Now we're gonna do the opposite, bring it up into the chest, take it under and over. Two, three. Remember, we're always pulling it on that dishcloth, keeping those shoulders engaged throughout this exercise. Five, six, seven, eight. And bring it down, excellent, good. Okay, let's take that dishcloth now over to the right side. Big loops. Good. Keep squeezing out that dishcloth, working the shoulder here. One more, just so we don't get our shoulders too tired. Other side, big circle. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent, excellent work. Good. Okay, we're gonna take that cloth now. This one's a little bit trickier. You might need bigger hands for this one. If you can grow your hands, that would be great. Now, we're going to try and squirch that, that cloth up into our hand. This is a tough one. I find this really tough. Good. Work in all those fingers, knuckles. Release it. Good. All the way down. Let's go the other side. We're here. Scrunch it up. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch it up. Good, good, good. And down, excellent, good. Okay, now, again, we're gonna take your hands at each end of that cloth. Now this time, swing it, swing it. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, switch. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. And bring it down. Let's take a couple of big breaths here, then we'll walk, go down to our feet. Into the nose. Out through the mouth. Relax and roll those shoulders. Nice and easy. Loose them up. The other direction, here we go. Good. Shake it out. Excellent, good. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that, take that cloth, stretch it to a right hand, switch to a left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Now add a little throw to it. A little throw. Throw and catch. Throw and catch. That's it. Good. Good. It's harder than it looks. And we'll go one more over here. Good. Now, taking that cloth that's in your right hand, throw it up and catch it with that right. Throw and catch. Whoa, I almost missed that. Throw and catch. Throw and catch. Do one more. Here it is. Good. Let's go the other side. Same thing. Throw and catch. Throw and catch. Throw and catch. Good. And let's go back for the right side. We're going to change up a little bit. This time we're going to throw it up. We're going to grab it. Throw it up and grab it. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this one. This one's a little tougher. Throw up and grab. And I coordination with this one. Good. You got it. One more. Good. Let's go the other side. Here we go. Throw it. Grab it. Throw it. Grab it. Throw it. Grab. Two more. One. Two. Excellent. Good. I surprised myself on that one. Now. Since we already have the, the dishcloth in our left hand, bring it up, up and under, up and under, up and under, and under. This one's tricky as well. We'll get those knees up as well. Working the lower body, we're starting to get the lower body involved here. Good. And let's do one more on each side. Good, excellent, okay. Kevin, remember to keep yourself, your stomach engaged, you're sitting nice and tall. Now we're coming up to the front of the chair, okay? Now, again, we're gonna, we're gonna work that stomach area in lower back. Be very careful with this one. If you have a lower back problem, use your hands on the side of the chair. Just for extra support for that back. What we'll do here, if you're, if you're okay with it, taking that dishcloth, we're here, we're gonna lean into it, Bring it back and lean back slightly, light touch, hold it, and out for two. And back. Three. Hold it. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. One more, eight. Take it out, lean back with it. Nice and easy, come up nice and tall with it. Excellent, good. Okay, we're gonna work on that lower part now, our feet. We're gonna let go of that big dishcloth and grab our two little dishcloths. Place a foot on each one. Here we go. Here we go. Flat as you can. Okay, now, remember, I, what I like to do for this one is, because I do have a lower back problem, is hold on to the sides of the chair with this one. Just so you're, you're kind of uh, helping support the lower back. So we're here, let's, let's start up one at a time. One forward, one back. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now, side to side. Good. Now, if that's too difficult, just do one at a time. Good. 
good. And if you're a little bit more advanced, you can try the two. Perfect. Let's do one more like this. Good. Now, we're going to take that right foot. We're going to start it one at a time. Big circle, bring it back. Big circle, bring it back. Back. And back. Good. Now, if you have, if you have dish cloths, this is perfect. You, you need a nice slippery floor, such as your kitchen floor. It's always perfect. Or if you have wood floors, it's even better. Good. One more on each side this way. Now we're going to make that circle the opposite way. Good. 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 One more on each side. Good. Now, if you want to, you can try two at the same time. Or if that's too much for you, Keep doing the one at a time. Let's do one more. The opposite direction. Here we go. Around. Around. Good. You got it. Let's do one more. Here it is. Good. Now we're going to get one nice and tall. This time we're just going to slide the foot up to the side. To the side. To the side. To the side. Good. Just like that. Now let's add to that. As we push it out, as we push our foot out, we're going to lean and push the opposite direction, just like this. Just like that. This involves a lot of coordination for the upper body and lower body working together. Good. One more on each side. Let's change it to the front. To the front. Front. Good. One more on each side. Good. Let's take a couple of big breaths. Here we go. One more. Excellent. Good. All right. Let's go forward and back again with those feet. One forward, one back. Again, if that's too much, just go one at a time. Okay. And one more, here it is. Good. Two to the side. Again, one at a time, which is too difficult for you. Just keep yourself moving. That's the important part here. Two more. One, two. Excellent. We're up tall. A couple breaths. One more. Good. All right. This up nice and tall. Let's pick up those, pick up those claws. Put them to the side. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in to my next episode when we work with weights. In my case, will be cans of tomato soup. Tune in and thanks for your time.